Good evening. I wanted to take a few moments to talk to our Navy family, our officers and our enlisted sailors, our Navy civilians and our families about the murder of Mr. George Floyd and the events that we've all watched on TV for the last several nights. It's been a very sad time for our country, a confusing time, and most of us are trying to figure it out. And we're trying to ask ourselves, what can we do? How can we contribute in a positive way to change things so that these things never happen again? I've been in the Navy for a long time and I've had a lot of experiences. But something that I haven't experienced, something I will never experience, is that I will never walk in the shoes of a black American or any other minority. I'll never know what it feels like when you watch that video of Mr. Floyd's murder. And I can't imagine the pain and the disappointment and the anger that many of you felt when you saw that. Because it's not the first time. It's happened time and time again in our country. I don't have all the answers. And as CNO, I can't write an order or change a policy that's gonna fix things. So I thought I'd make a couple of points. First right now is I think we need to listen. We have black Americans in our Navy and in our communities that are in deep pain right now. They're hurting. I receive the emails and I know that it's not a good situation. And I know that for many of them, they may not have somebody to talk to. So I ask you to consider reaching out, sit down, have a cup of coffee, have lunch, and just listen. The second thing I'd ask you to consider, in the Navy, we talk a lot about treating people with dignity and respect. In fact, we demand it. It's one of the things that makes us a great Navy. It's one of the things that makes me so proud of all of you every single day. But over the past week, after you watch what's going on, we can't be under any illusions about the fact that racism is alive and well in our country. And I can't be under any illusions that we don't have it in our Navy. But racism happens a lot, and it happens with people that you wouldn't normally expect. It happens with people that are friendly and generous and kind as well. It could be a friend or a coworker, it could be a family member or a close acquaintance, and they say something, and it's not right, and you know it's not right, but because they're a friend, and you know them well, and they're a good person, you say, well, say to yourself, they didn't mean that. They didn't mean it to come out that way, but it did and they had that thought and they verbalized it and there was a consequence and somebody was probably hurt by it. So when that happens, I want you to think about is approaching that person. Think about dignity and respect and think about having a private conversation, an honest conversation and educating them and make them more self-aware of what they did or what they said. If we don't do that, racism, injustice, indignity, disrespect, it's going to grow and it's going to continue. And we'll have more weeks like we've had this week and we'll be disappointed. And we'll be more disappointed in ourselves because we let it happen. We let it happen. I'm really proud of the Navy. I'm such an optimist about where we've been, not only where we've been, but where we're going. 
let's make it the best Navy possible. Let's make it the best Navy for everybody. Thanks. Thanks for listening. And have a good night.